Today we're doing Lesson 20 from the workbook of A Course in Miracles. Lesson 20, I am determined to see. I am determined to see. We have been quite casual about our practice periods thus far. <laughs> there has been virtually no attempt to direct the time for undertaking them. Minimal effort has been required and not even active cooperation and interest has been asked. This approach has been intentional and very carefully planned. We have not lost sight of the crucial importance of the reversal of your thinking. The salvation of the world depends on it. Yet, you will not see if you regard yourself as being coerced and if you give in to resentment and opposition. This is our first attempt to introduce structure. Do not misconstrue it as an effort to exert force or pressure. You want salvation. You want to be happy. You want peace. You do not have them now because your mind is totally undisciplined and you cannot distinguish between joy and sorrow, pleasure and pain, love and fear. You are now learning how to tell them apart and great indeed will be your reward. Your decision to see is all that vision requires. What you want is yours. Do not mistake the little effort that is asked of you for an indication that our goal is of little worth. Can the salvation of the world be a trivial purpose? And can the world be saved if you are not? God has one Son, and He is the resurrection and the life. His will is done because all power is given Him in heaven and on earth. In your determination to see, is vision given you. The exercises for today consist in reminding yourself throughout the day that you want to see. Today's idea also tacitly implies the recognition that you do not see now. Therefore, as you repeat the idea, you are stating that you are determined to change your present state for a better one, and one you really want. Repeat today's idea slowly and positively at least twice an hour today, attempting to do so every half hour. Do not be distressed if you forget to do so, but make a real effort to remember. The extra repetitions should be applied to any situation, person, or event that upsets you. And you can see them differently, and you will. What you desire, you will see. Such is the real law of cause and effect as it operates in the world. Lesson 20, I am determined to see. If you'd like to read my commentary on the workbook lessons this year, just go to amytorresasim.com and click on Amy's blog. Namaste.